Hello everyone. I've noticed that a lot of you have been really interested in my rock border edging, that specific video where I um, went around and I cut out some edging so that it would be easier for me to maintain. So today I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly from that experiment. Welcome to 90% Native. My name is Michelle. I grow native plants in a garden for the wildlife. Okay, so first up, we are going to start with the border that I did over here around the bird garden. And this is going to be the ugly. As you can see right here, this border has, I don't know if you would say collapsed or is just being overtaken by the greenery. So the border started here and you can see all these weeds. Like I think this is Creeping Charlie, maybe. Um, coming into the edge. I haven't done a good job of keeping the edge with my weed whacker. Um, I don't really know why, but anyway, you can see there are lots of weeds in there and I am going to get in there and get that all cleared out. So what I'm thinking that I'll probably do is maybe change this over to one of my wildlife waddle fences or dead hedges. Um, is, that, is it called a dead hedge? I'll put the name up on the, um, the screen. But anyway, because this area is a little more in the woodland, it might be an area that's harder to maintain with a rock border. I could of course try to use the bigger rocks, but I'm not sure that that's gonna, that is what I am going to want here for the long term. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I end up cleaning this out and what I decide to do in a future video. So now I'm going to take you down to the where I have the um, fog fruit or frog fruit, that particular border, and show you um, how it's working out. Okay, so if you remember down here, I just did the border around here, and this isn't nearly as decayed, if you will, as the, the border that I showed you along the woodland but um, I haven't take care, taken care of it very well and I never put the big rocks on here. And that was what was supposed to happen here, was I, I was supposed to put the big rocks, and I'm gonna show you in a second, in this area to stabilize it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that this fall, maybe just come down around and up. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing, just where kind of everything ends up down here at the bottom. So this is something that has worked okay, but because I didn't complete it, I can't give you like the final status on, on this. Now over here in the bald garden, you'll see that I did finish that with the big rocks and it has done really well. I just come around here and I use the weed whacker as a trimmer. I have to do that today or tomorrow. And um, maybe I'll video that if I happen to think about it. I haven't had too many weeds. Every once in a while I'll come in here and get this. I have to pull one of these, but it's not that bad. Okay, here's some stilt grass. So you can see it's held pretty well. Um, you can see, you can kind of see how I edge over there. This just grows really fast. It's a wet area. So anyway, this area has done really well. The only thing that I will say is that I need to get more rocks for right here. So as you can tell in a big storm, I think that the rain is coming down and flooding in here and then coming up and pushing this mulch. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get one more bag of rocks and just build this up so that the moisture or so that the water doesn't flood the mulch out there and can all sink in here for these water loving plants. And also I guess this is a good time for an update on the ball garden. The golden ragwort is doing beautifully as is the, um, the blue flag iris that I grew from seed. So everything's doing really well here. I'm happy with how it turned out. I don't love the shape necessarily. I wish that this bed like over here like came around a little bit instead of coming down and in. But anyway, that's for another day. Oh my goodness, it looks like a fox did a poop right there. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, anyway. Okay guys, now here is the good and here is the um, best um, experiment as far as the rock borders go and it's this one. And this one I told you about, these were the rocks that I liked the best. I'm not sure it has anything to do with the type of rock, but the size of your rocks and how high you build it up definitely does seem to matter as far as keeping the grass from pushing in and keeping the weeds out. So um, yeah, this right here has worked really well. Again, I just keep the edge clean with a weed whacker. However, I will tell you with a weed whacker, um, I have to constantly, um, a pound the bottom of the weed whacker on the ground to let the the trimmer pieces come out of it and a lot of times like the rock will just completely cut them off and then I have to do the whole thing where I pull them out manually from the weed whacker so I'm not saying that the weed whacker is the best way to edge um, these rock borders and keep them weed free it's just how I do it I think that I'm going to look into finding a weed whacker that um, doesn't that won't break, especially for these rock borders. I think it would make my life a lot easier. So um, stay tuned for any updates on that. Okay guys, so that is an update on my rock border edging. I'm really liking how it's turning out um, in a few of the places. Some of the, some of the areas aren't done yet and some of the areas need a rework. So I will continue to keep you updated on that work and show you what I am doing. And if you want to see what I have been up to recently, I will uh, link a video right here. Thank you guys so much for taking your time today to join me. Happy gardening, and I will catch you again next time.